topic of this video is hands as a calculator. Number sums and products are abstract facts that cannot be easily associated with visual objects. Consequently, mem memorizing abstract facts is very difficult the facts and the addition and the multiplication table. The hands represent a readily available visual object that can form a number of sums and products and that fact allows um, a much easier process of memorization to take place using our hands as a calculator. Through repetition of the procedures, the facts in the addition and multiplication table will be memorized automatically. And then when recall fails, the hands are readily available at all times to do the calculation using your hands as the calculator. Hand calculations are superior to pencil and paper arithmetic for one simple reason. The students can practice the procedures at any time and any place. They don't need a pencil and paper. There are 10 basic numbers in our base 10 numeration system. The numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. There are 10 basic numbers. And we can use one or more of the basic numbers to write any other number. That's, those basic numbers are the only ones that will appear in any number you ever write or any number you ever see. Now, since we have 10 fingers on each, five fingers on each hand or 10, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the basic numbers and the fingers. And that fact allows the hands to be used as a calculator. Because nine is the largest basic number, the largest number in the addition table will be 9 plus 9, or 18. In the multiplication table, 9 times 9 is 81, so that will be the largest number in the multiplication table. All right, some examples. We'll use two. I want to add 9 plus 8. Okay, now the camera is your eye and <clears throat> these models are your uh, right hand and your left hand. Okay. So we're going to count, starting with our right hand, we're going to count up to the add in 8. But since we already have 5 fingers on each hand, we're going to start our count at 6. And we're going to follow the procedure according to the American Sign Language. And it goes like this. This represents one. That two. Thumb, three, okay? Then, for four, I'm going to close the thumb and open those two fingers. That's a four. And then finally five. So the thumb is used for three and five, and we're going to follow that, but we're going to start our count at six. All right, so in the right hand, I'm going to say six, seven, and then extend the thumb, eight. So I have three extended fingers in my left, right hand. 
In my left hand, I want to count up to nine, so it's going to be six, seven, then the thumb comes out for eight, and then the thumb closes, and I lift these two fingers to make nine. Okay? Six, seven, eight, nine. So I have four extended fingers in my left hand and three in my right hand. Four and three is seven, and that's the ones place. Now the tens place is always going to be a one because the sums that we're interested in, adding two basic numbers that add to a two-digit sum, that sum must be, be between 10 and 18. So 9 and 8 are 17. Okay. I would like to um, multiply 9 times 8 using a method called visual 9, and that is we're going to start with both hands open, all the fingers extended. So there it is. We start with both hands open and the fingers extended. And the multiplier using visual 9 is always going to be a 9. And the number that we multiply 9 by is called the multiplicon. And where they're going to designate the numbers, the multiplicons, as this is 1. We're going to start out count on the left and go all the way over to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I want to multiply by 9 times 8. So I'm going to go over to the 8th finger. This is 5, 6, 7, 8. And I'm going to turn it up facing you. Remember, the camera is your eyes, and these are your hands. Okay. And so you do what I'm doing on the model. All right. This multiplicon 8 separates this into two sets. There are five, six, seven on the left, and there's two extended fingers on the right, to the right of that. So, nine times eight, this is the tens digit, seven, and the ones digit is two. So, nine times eight is 72. All right. In our next clip, we will verify the facts in the addition table.